and welcome back to my channel. I'm in the same attire because I'm in such a chatty mood today um, that I'm just making a whole bunch of videos, getting ready to upload them for when I'm a new mama, so um, I'm going to space them out a little bit. Um, but I wanted to do a video on things that you hate to hear when you're pregnant. My dog is having a spasm. Things to ha that you hate to hear when you're pregnant. Um, let's find it. So much, like, there's so many things that you hate to hear when you're pregnant. You're like, some things that some people say to you are so rude and you, they don't think it's rude and I'm like, bitch, like... <laughs> If you want to piss me off, you've already done it. Um, so, I'm going to go through, I've like written them down during my whole pregnancy of things that people have said to me um, or done to me while I'm pregnant. Um, the one thing I want to start off with, the main thing, I had someone at Kmart come up to me, like, she's probably about 40, 50, maybe 50. I'm gonna say 50, maybe older than 50. I don't know. I can't, I suck at telling people ages. It's really bad. Um, but she come up and touched my belly. And I was like, like, I like when people ask me for permission to touch my belly. Like, it's something that's mine and it's my belly. Like, I don't want you to touch it unless I've given you permission or asked you to touch it. So don't touch it. She came up to me at Kmart. I didn't know her from a bar of soap. And she literally touched my belly and I was like she's like oh my god how far along are you and I was like I'm like uh corona <laughs> I was like get away from me um yeah so that was like when freshly corona hadn't fully hit yet so lucky she didn't give me corona but that's fine is um oh my god you're so tiny you're probably gonna have to have a c-section Can you just shut your mouth? Like, I hate people that say that. It's like, there's people littler than me that have had natural births. It's all about, like, there's just so many factors that come into a C-section. And if I needed a C-section, the doctors would tell me, you're not a doctor. So don't tell me what I'm going to probably have to have from your experience compared to mine is going to be totally different. Oh, comparisons of labor and they all say my labor was like this and it's gonna be horrendous and it's gonna be like this it's like okay but everyone is different like I appreciate your story but I don't need to be terrified before going into labor thank you I'm in the very positive zone and you're really bringing that down for me <laughs> like I hate when people compare their births and their like parenting to other people's parenting um and births and stuff like that because it's honestly different and you're having a different baby like it's, your bodies are different you eat different things like everything factors into that and it's so annoying when people think that like their labor is going to be the same like my labor is going to be the same as theirs um like I appreciate the stories and stuff but I want to hear it <laughs> and then another one is will you breastfeed um and then they, if you say, like, obviously I can if I will, and they're like, oh, well, you've got to try. And it's like, I don't got to do anything. Like, I obviously want to breastfeed, but I don't got to do anything. Like, <laughs> if I don't want to breastfeed, I want to breastfeed. And if I can't, I can't. If I can, I can. But I'll do it on my, under my own will. I don't need your input about breastfeeding. Thank you, though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why do these all annoy? Oh, my God, it's gone so fast. That is what really ticks me. It's like... Okay, thanks Susan, but you've checked in on me once since I've been pregnant, so thanks for your input Susan, but it's really gone slow for me because I have to live with this every day and um, me and my friend Jess are talking about this the other day, she's like, well I feel like it's gone fast in some ways and slow in some other ways and it has because she's kind of been there for everything and she has to like, like I kind of like... Like, I talk to her every day, so she, like, keeps update and, like, yeah, like, it's just different, like, when people are involved, um, and they kind of, like, talk to you regularly, and, like, they think it goes slow, too, because, like, they have to deal with it with you. 
<laughs> like Jess doesn't have to, but like she um she does, and it's like so it's gone really slow for us. But um, and I feel like I've been pregnant for years, so it really makes me mad when people are like, oh yeah, it's gone so fast, and I'm like, has it really? I wish. <laughs> but these last couple of weeks are going so freaking slow, so it's ridiculous. Some of them that don't say them to me, but like I've heard them, and I'm like, bitch. <laughs> Um, a lot of people keep bothering me about the name. Like, I get messages and messages and messages, like, of, of people being like, Oh my god, can you tell me the name or give me a hint? And I'm like, and I'm like, no, you can't. Because I want it to be a surprise for everyone. Like, no one understands that. Like, it's just, like, one thing that I want to give people to be surprised about. Like, I showed everyone the gender, like, oh, so annoying but <sighs> yeah it's like just let me have the name a secret thank you and there's like the ones that are like oh that name's horrible and you're like well that was on the top of my list thanks for your rude input some of like my clients like um try and guess the name and I'm like no no one's actually guessed the name so it's really exciting because maybe I'm going to shock everyone. <laughs> I just don't think people think it's going to be the name that's going to be. So. Oh! Last one. You really shouldn't be eating that when you're pregnant. Shut up. People shouldn't drink, smoke, but they do. They shouldn't. Yeah, do heaps of things that they do when they're pregnant, but they still do it, so. Yeah. But most of these things haven't really been said to me, um, like I'm just making a video on pe like what you should not say to a pregnant lady because it's really offensive and uh, especially for pre first pregnancies you're like, why are you trying to ruin it for them? Like, I feel like so many people be so depressed because their pregnancies haven't been glorized like they should have been. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't say these things to pregnant women or people with newborns because it scares the shit out of them and makes them feel even worse when they are trying to grow a human. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!